What's going on, collectives? It is your girl, Jenny Quay, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So let's tap in, collectives. Let's see what you got going on. Cheers to the weekend, right? Archangel Michael and Alegua, please protect me. Protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear all my chakras as I tap into the most important messages surrounding the collective's energy. All right. Like it went. This is the six of pentacles. All right. So I put it back, but it came back out. So spirit definitely wants to um, focus on the six of pentacles. And this is about working hard. All right. This is about working hard, but this is about somebody slaving. This is somebody forced to do the things for money that they are not happy with because they don't have no resources. All right. Something is not balanced here because look, one is, you know, shining shoes and working hard. And the other one is just sitting up, just, you know, having people work for them in that kind of way. All right. So you got to see which one is you, but somebody is somebody. All right. And I see the five of pentacles. Somebody has worried themselves sick, literally physically all right you gotta understand when we start thinking so much and worrying so much about money this is about money this ain't about nothing else you know these two cards is about money the pinnacle but this is spirit showing you guys that the pinnacles and when y'all see the ace of pinnacles and all of that it's more than just money it's your health it is your peace of mind it is your stress levels balancing out it is your mind being free. It is you feeling a lit weight lifted. It is your heart being open. It's you feeling calm, smooth, and collected with life. So when somebody is focusing so much on money, they are chasing it. So they're not getting it. And it's manifesting to physical sickness. Their thoughts and their worries surrounding money is so bad that it has manifested in the physical body. Some of you guys could even be working too much for somebody that is really not valuing your work, your health, your dedication. Because when you dead and gone, you hear me? That job is going to replace you. When you dead and go from a relationship, nine times out of ten, they going to move on. Not because they being mean, life goes on. So what are you willing to sacrifice? That or your physical health? Because a lot of people fail to realize before we can be rich, before we can even receive the blessings, we got to be healthy. Right? We got to be healthy in our physical body. This is somebody's physical body. Something so stressful that was going on spiritually with them when it comes to the material world, their bills, the finances, their solidified, their, their occupation. It's just a lot of responsibilities has manifested in the physical. This is physical where somebody's constantly probably in the hospital. All right. Because they thought it was a game. But this has changed. This is change. This is about somebody could be 65 um, or 56 with this six of pentacles and five of pentacles. But this is like. Yeah, this is like too much stress. So we're now somebody physically sick. Worried. And then when you get sick, you got to pay the, you got to have insurance. You got to have all of these things. Spirit, give me more on this energy. Wow, the Hierophant. All right, so somebody could have been listening to the wrong God. 
Somebody could have been listening to a false prophet. All right. Somebody could have been listening to somebody that really wasn't there themselves. All right. The Hierophant is like institutions. It's like spiritual um, establishments and places. It deals with the higher ups and things of that nature. It deals with a lot of belief systems. All right. Somebody, this could have even been the result of somebody doing um, work on you. Somebody also with following a very outdated way and belief systems when it comes to productivity, when it comes to manifesting, when it comes to money. It was outdated. They was having a hard time with challenging that belief system because they knew it was right. They knew what they were thinking was right, but they weren't, they weren't, they weren't sure. All right. Um, let me see. I was up, y'all. Y'all know I gotta get my music ready. All right, so let's keep going. Let's get some more cards. Spirit, give me more on this success. This, you know, success caused somebody a lot of physical health problems. All right, wow. The seven of wands, so wow. So it's like it was so much demands. It was so much people demanding your attention with the seven of wands. Give me, um, Spirit, give me more on this seven of wands. All right. The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody that works hard to put food on the table. All right, literally, you guys were the one in charge and held responsible to put food on the table. All right, you were held responsible to feed a number of people demanding you to help them put food on the table. To help them with basic needs. A lot of people. You are only one person. All right. While these people reap the success off of you putting food on a the table, they didn't have to work hard. So you basically was successful. You are successful, but look what you were doing for the people that were just taking from you. This was an outdated way of beliefs. You felt like maybe in the past, the men had to do everything while the women, yeah, it's like that, but things changed. Things change and things have to be balanced so that way the home could be balanced. All right. You are responsible for putting a lot of food on in a lot of people's mouths. You hear me? All right, Spirit, give me more on this five of pentacles. Wow. For some of you guys. All right. You was you was literally taking care of somebody. Dad was sick. Like you felt obligated to take take care of somebody that couldn't take care of themselves. All right? Somebody that you was around, they were very, they, they, they are sick. All right? But I'm talking about like physically because of their worrying and their finances and what they put their physical body through worrying all right so i see you catering 
to somebody that's sick because they can't do it themselves. And you got to, you the knight of pinnacles, like you are creative, like you are somebody that's very reliable. Google the knight of pinnacles, you can rely on the knight of pinnacles, all right? It may take them some time because they are the slowest knight, but they going to get what they need to get done, especially if they feel remorseful for somebody that's in this predicament. So that's what it is. You felt like it was your commitment, the Hierophant, to God. Talk to the spirit. Damn, I'm getting it out. So you felt like it was your commitment to God to be responsible, all right, for the people that was demanding you to feed them because of your commitment, because of who you, who you, who you believe. And that's why the, the, the Herophon, you got to challenge that. You got to have your own connection with God and never feel responsible, responsible to be somebody's servant because their money has got them like this. You, you, you don't have to feel responsible for commitments you made when people are demanding you to feed them. Like that's not even cool. I don't care what commitments father mother children you don't allow people to demand from you because they sick you hear me it was like you was there because you just felt like it was your commitment to God and to them to like hold them down like to death do its part is what I'm hearing all right but at the end of the day it ain't, you didn't sign up for this. You didn't sign up to be their slave. You didn't sign up to be, bring them food every time that they call. That's going to stop your hustle. It's like you, you've made the commitment unknowingly instead to God because God didn't tell you to do this. Whoever you was following made you feel like you were being, you were, you were going to be condemned by God because of the commitment you made and vowed to keep. All right. And they felt like they had control over that. So you was the whole time slaving for them because you didn't want to get karma the whole time. That's not how it goes. All right. That's what I see. Like you had to let God in because God was not telling you to do this. It was too dark. God didn't. God wouldn't have you in the dark. God would not have you in the dark. It was just the enemy infiltrating your belief systems. All right. So that way you could be feeling guilty so that way you never leave all right that's what i see that's what i see okay that's exactly what i see spirit give me more of this hair font look the queen of wands This person had you going through a lot of legal battles. All right. And it fucked up your dreams because they were sick. This is the five of pentacles. They couldn't keep up with the lawyers. They can't keep up with the food. They couldn't keep up with themselves. So they sick. Like you see the risk being. You hear me? So you felt obligated as a commitment to them. Or you had some sort of commitment that attached to you in a legal system. And these were all unjustifiable and unlawful contracts. All right. These are about contracts. Like you were illegally contracted to a queen of wands through the justice system now. All right. So now there's, there's a situation where this person don't really got a lot of time. Probably they sick. They've been going to the doctor a lot. They've been hearing the worst information. Plus on top of that, their money worries is really, really adding on to the bad health and they got to pay for medications that they probably don't have. So this person is coming to you like, well, you made a commitment to me or are you in some sort of contract for me? And because I'm in this situation and you're able to feed me, come feed me, come do this, demanding it. But you see, they not just demanding it from themselves. They demanding you to feed their whole family. You hear me? They trying to take you to court for their whole family. All right, you can, you can help this person, but where all the other hands coming at? Every hand, you had to feed every hand. 
It was too many hens in your table. You hear me? Literally. You were slaving for this person because the legal. So any money you did make that was really, really a healthy living, right? Probably on the books. It was being snatched by the legal. You hear me? So it was like, it wasn't because you wasn't spiritual. It wasn't because you didn't know God. You just had to gain a different relationship with God. Because the one you had was kind of outdated. It was coming from people that was demanding you to feed them because they couldn't feed themselves. And they were really, really sick. And then on top of that, they're going through legal cases. They can't really do nothing. All right. So that's what's going on. All right. It was it was about you. They were infiltrating you with your belief systems. Like, oh, you really going to leave me out in a cold like that? Oh, you see the doctor, you see the doctor results and all this, all right? Making up fake ass doctor things and all of that shit. The proof is right here. Okay, they done manifested that hope because of their choices in this material world. All right? So, let's get some more... Um, energy all right spirit give me more on this queen of wands please and thank you the knight of wands they were doing everything to stop you on your journey because your new journey does not involve them your new journey does not involve sickness like Tell me, does this even look right? How a knight of wands could be in this energy? It don't even make sense. It's her, the queen of wands, and her inability to cope with her health. But you, you energize. You hear me? You want to go. You probably want to go way too much. You hear me? Because you need, you need money. You need to support this stuff until this whole drama stuff was over. But it wasn't you that was sick. All right, you was out getting that money. You was out putting food on the table. They were just consuming from you too much. And look at all the hands you had to feed behind this queen of wands. You were, you were energetic. Your physical vessel is healthy. It's theirs. All right. They didn't like that. They knew how in, like athletic you were. You know, they knew how a warrior spirit looked. You ready to go. All right. So that's what it was with this Queen of Wands. All right. Anything else for this Queen of Wands and this Knight of Wands? It was like one was holding somebody back, like physically. For real. Like physically, they couldn't keep up with y'all. And the Knight of Wands energy. They couldn't. All right. The Death card in reverse. They wanted things to be over for you. They wanted you to... I heard they wanted you to be unalive slow like they are. That's fucked up. They wanted you to be unalive slow because they are. They going, they going through some really, really bad health problem. So where they wanted you to literally be in the same way. But it came out in reverse. Wow. That's fucked up. You hear me? They wanted you so depleted and stressed with your money and drain for you to really be deceased and unalive right along with them because they're going slow. You hear me? Every checkup is getting badder, badder because of what they're doing and how much they want you to be unalive. That's crazy, yo. That is crazy. That should not happen to you, Knight of Wands. You are fully healthy. You hear me? Nothing will end for you. Nothing. That is really crazy. That is really crazy. All right, Spirit, give me more on this Five of Pentacles. This um, worrying and sick in the hospital with the results. Look what they was willing. They what they was doing for money. This is what somebody was doing for money, baby. They was making big coins. All right, but depleting themselves and to the point of this. 
Now, that's why I always say God is teaching somebody that in order, see, you can still have money. In the past, this person had money, but their body was being polluted, contaminated. All right, now their physical vessel is drained to where now they can't, they don't got no money. They can't even keep up. Now it got to manifest in the spirit first. So this is God saying, just because you thinking you getting money, if you are abusing your body in any kind of way, you're going to end up like this. And this is what happened. All right, so because they not getting no money no more and a physical body is depleting them slowly, the Knight of Wands is a hustler. The Knight of Wands is a believer of God. They was just in the dark, have a energy. All right. Once they decide to take the right action and leave, all right, it caused every death spell, every ending, everything that they wanted to, for you to happen in health, physically, reverse. All right. It's your spirit that God gave you. All right. God knew you was going to fuck up, but God knew the, 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 the corrections you were going to make as a knight of wands. Okay. So that's what's going on, y'all. They wanted y'all over and zone with because they are going slow and it was all in the name of money. Wow, look. That is crazy. All right, so um, Spirit, give me more of this Ace of Pentacles with this Five of Pentacles. Like, y'all got to remember, like, the Ace of Pentacles is just a start. It's like a stepping stone for you to get whichever you need to get and then move on. All right, somebody done did the wrong thing with their come up and their money that God gave them. Spirit, give me more of this Five of Pentacles and this Ace of Pentacles. Look. All right. They wanted to defeat. Oh. This Queen of Wands is sick. Like this. They exhausted. They were attacking. This is conflict. This is defeat. This is like you lost a battle. This is a lot of jealousy. In reverse, this is all the opposite. This is somebody that never... Never brought it to somebody like that. They was just with a partner. Like this is past life love. This is somebody that you you know from the past and y'all healthy. Y'all like this is love here. Even possibly two children. But this is a whole relationship. All right. This was not no conflict. Y'all was just doing y'all. Like gifting each other. This is a good vibe here. The six of cups is like good vibes every time. This is a whole lot of love here. So what's going on is this person was so jealous. Uh, hold on y'all this person was so jealous of the king and queen of cups and their relationships and their bond alright and the way that they wasn't paying this person no mind this is like this is like somebody fighting the ear <laughs> because it wasn't to the king queen of cups and it's because they know that this masculine is going to live a long life with his person of choice. A very long life. Because the love, look, the heart chakra, like, y'all good. And everything good with y'all in the spiritual, like, y'all good. Look, he don't look sick. Right? You don't look sick, right? Everybody good. Everybody gifted. Everybody everything. All right? Nobody in drama. All right? These people are sick in the head. They wanted that thing over because now they know they not going to get a chance to fuck up your life no more. God, God not playing that a little too longer. All right. And they sick because of that. It didn't stop you. That's what they wanted to end. This could even be a queen of wands under spiritual judgment too. That's manifesting in a physical. Everything. That is going on in the spiritual for this queen of wands is manifesting in the physical. You see how they are under judgment for attacking to a divine couple. All right. That wasn't even paying no attention to them. All right. That's everything that is happening in justice in a, in a physical going to court. All right. 
everything that they wanted to end and money and everything is happened to them in a physical Everything that they was manifesting for you in a, in, a, in a spirit that they wanted you to not have and over and be without, it's happened to them in a physical. So everything this person is being taught that's happening in a physical and that is created and manifested phys um, in a spirit will happen in a physical. All right. And because y'all in your knight of wands spirit, because y'all in your king of queen of cups, that spirit, that's your heart chakra open. What you think is going to manifest for y'all in the physical. All right. That's why they couldn't end it. All right. Death card in reverse. Okay. Look. The Empress under judgment. That was the last two cards I picked up. Y'all see that? All right. It was this. This. It, it was an Empress. Maybe you guys had a child. Maybe that was the um court situation. All right, maybe that was the court situation, but whatever it was, this person illegally contracted you. All right, to them, it wasn't your free will. It wasn't God's plan. All right, they were clouding and trying to prevent God's plan by keeping you in a very dark spiritual space. All right, because everything has to manifest spiritual first. So if you are in a dark space spiritually. If you don't have that relationship with God no more, if you're not willing to challenge people's belief, belief system because you know who your God is, you're not going to be able to manifest in the physical, just like this person was doing. So everything that they wanted to end for you, especially legally, they are under judgment. Look, this is judgment. Like the judgment has been called upon them to free you. All right, nothing will be over for you. That's wow. That is crazy. All right, is this Queen of Queen of Wands, um, Empress Lady? All right, whoever that is, even if it's a real mom, like your real mother. All right, they not doing too good. The choices that they made for money, man, they going through a lot of health issues, a lot, and it's it's not looking too good because everything that has manifested in the spiritual is now slowly manifesting in the physical. And they surprised. They like what? They like what? Ciao. Spirit, give me more on a seven of wands energy. Look. The eight of wands. You hear me? You found out the truth. All right, you cut these people off. All right, see, what you did was you shockingly, again, they wanted a tower for you. All right, so these, you have secret enemies. All right, like, there was so much truth held from you, important information, breakthrough information for you that was held back, like falsified information, even with the courts. All right, you've been freed. You've been let go because what was done in the dark has came to light and the truth came out. Remember, the motherfucking courts don't give a fuck about if you are empress with kids. I'm telling you, that's why I don't pay to go to court and take your baby father to court unless they really, really a deadbeat. But if you're trying to do it because of this, the courts don't give a fuck that you are empress and you got babies. They don't give a fuck about your emotions. They care about the truth and the truth only. So this queen, this this queen of wands, empress, thought that she was going to come in and play on the court's emotions. All right? So that way the judgment could go in her favor. And the whole time they knew the truth. All right? And then the judgment was that she be held accountable. All right? And then that got her like this. Because it freed y'all. This is good news coming in for this knight of wands. That's why he like, oh shit, yes. I get the fuck. That's what's happening. All right. She thought she could swindle the courts coming in as an empress. Oh, sad that she can't take care of nobody and all of this stuff. Whole time the courts are not worrying about that. Let me see the proof. And the proof was true. All right. She, the courts don't care. That's why I don't pay unless you really, really need them. All right. Because now she was trying to destroy your shit with a child. All right, that you blocked off communication. Like you probably didn't even block her out your life. 
But what I'm seeing is here, like you probably gave her the bare minimum as far as communicating with you. Like is if it's not about the child, then I'm not talking to you type of energy. Okay. But this is a queen of wands, y'all. Okay. This is a queen of wands that literally made your life a living hell as an empress because you had a new opportunity, of course, in new relationships, a queen, but this is a divine connection. And and she was going to the courts and she was going to give off and project this image of her being a sad and unsupported mom having to deal with so much. All right. All of her emotions thinking that she was going to swindle them. And they said, miss, this is not the proof. All right, she was trying to destroy you with a child because even though you had the child with her, you still kept it a bare minimum. Look, you got justice. You got justice from that injustice because you kept it a bare minimum. It's something about them knowing that you've taken care of your child in a certain way. All right, like y'all not even supposed to be next to each other, honestly. All right, look, they found out information about a child. This for child support. All right, they found out who was really given. Who was really given to the child. They found out that information. All right. And because you just cut them off and you were just taking care of the child, that's why they went to destroy you. But now, all right, the secrets is out. The cat is out the back about their agenda and how much mouths you were feeding. Like this is an injustice. Feeling obligated because they don't want to be with you. They look how much they have to do overtime and all that. No. All right. The secrets is out. There's valuable hidden information that has came out that freed somebody from a very, very tough legal battle with the Queen of Wands, their baby mother. All right. This person is trapped because this person has a new beginning. All right. See what happened was they didn't want this King of Wands to be a king of pentacles in that relationship, a good provider, somebody that a divine feminine can rely on. You know, this is that queen of cups energy. She did. She knew it was there in the spirit. I need y'all to really focus on this reading about how everything is manifesting spiritually first and then in the physical. Please. So y'all was already locked in spiritually. All right. Y'all was already in love, locked in spiritually. She was intentionally making your life a living hell because of the falsified information that she was doing to try to swindle the court system. All right. So now it has to happen in a physical. But in order for that to happen, the divine masculine has to spiritually be able to hold his side accountable. And that's to defend. That's to provide. That's to protect. And that's to honor the divine feminine. But he has to physically be able to do that. And he couldn't physically be able to do that because all of his time, all of his money, all of his energy was going into the legal court and backing her the fuck up. So he, you know, she was, she knew that he could do it financially, materially, love or whatever, but without any energy, you know? So that's what she was doing. You see, you hear those cop calls? Yeah. She was getting him locked up all the time. Like just depleting his strength to where he couldn't even be there for divine feminine. He got to be there for himself in the spirit. Right? Remember. Oh, shit. This is like she was doing shit in the spirit. So that way he can't be here in the physical. Remember, the wands is spirit. The 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 earth, the 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 pinnacle is physical. Like earthly. Right? She depleted him spiritually so that way he can't show up for y'all's relationship physically as the person he's always been or a new person. So that's what she was doing. All right. But she was completely blown away when the high priestess was here. Now I say that because boom, the high priestess and the Herophon is a very spiritual couple. All right. They are a very spiritual union. So it's looking like you have created justice because you already know how to do this thing in the spirit. All right. So it's looking like God used you. All right. To get this Herophon back into healing after the tower 
You know, the star card comes after the tower moment when you're healing. So being at the star, the, the tower, the tower came out in reverse. So being at the tower didn't fool, all right, there's stuff that you got to rebuild from because they try to break you down, but God rose you back up. All right, so now the Hierophant is healing, getting themselves back together after a tough cycle of trying to be broken hearted and tore down, all right, mentally. All right, but that cycle is closed, okay, because now their head is on straight. Now they have somebody that could go with them and battle and be their support system through all of this spiritually because it, nothing will happen in the physical if you're not there in the spiritual. Nothing. And this is the big theme of this reading. That everything is going on because it happened in the spiritual first. So y'all been in the spiritual. Y'all helping each other. Y'all the king, queen of cups. All right. King and queen of cups in the physical. All right. Now y'all getting your mind right. All right. Now y'all can balance. Okay, now this emperor in reverse is the emperor in reverse because he's no longer the emperor to that empress, queen of wands. He's no longer that uh, responsible from the courts or God to hold that position no more. His position is no longer permitted. And when his position is no longer permitted and he stays, his covering will be gone. So he knew the example. He knew. He knew to get the fuck. All right. So. Now, because everything is going right, right? Everything is going right in a spirit first. Everything is manifesting in a spiritual first, right? Now, he's no longer permitted there no more. So now he don't feel bad that he's not held with that responsibility because God said you don't no longer permit there. You know, that was the wrong empress. That was your karmic debt. You paid your karmic debt. Now it's time for you to walk away straight to your happiness. All right. And be now physically happy because y'all was already fucking with each other in a spirit. Y'all was already married in a spirit. Okay. Look, had kids and everything. So now out that out the way. All right. Now. They're not responsible for that no more. That, that cleared. All right. All the, you know, laws have been shown. All right. That's what I really got. Wow. All right. So, Spirit, give me more on this tower in reverse. All right. It didn't work. They kept trying. They kept trying to take you to court. They kept trying to destroy everything. And when I tell you this was a battle. Somebody, the, the um, tower in reverse. They lost the battle on trying to destroy whatever you got going on. They couldn't, they couldn't, they thought that they were strong in the spirit, but they weren't. Unfortunately, they weren't strong enough in the spirit to win this battle that they was trying to do. Because God is saying only the divine. When you see the tower, that's divine intervention. Destroying shit. They couldn't do that if the divine didn't want nothing to be destroyed. And that's what they was trying to do. So instead of, because you know, they couldn't get y'all off spiritually. Nothing was happening spiritually to help them in any what kind of way. So then they went legally. And that's where they fucked up. Because if it's not working spiritually, don't try to trap somebody legally like here in this world. And they did it by the law. Un, yeah, unjustified. All right. So now... They kept doing it. All right. Felt like it was going to work. And now they lost the battle. There's no tower for you. Sorry. All right. You will have the Ten of Cups. Look, that's how you closing out this cycle. You defeated the enemy. All right. The, the King, Queen of Cups to the Ten of Cups to the World card. That's how you closing that shit out. All right. So anything for this Queen of Wands. Let's the closing out messages for her. Unsuccessful. Unsuccessful. All right, look, damn, whatever you was planning on to get this masculine back from the hurt he did or whatever he was trying to do, all right, that caused hurt on you because he went in another relationship, you were unsuccessful. The people that you try to gather up were fools. The people that you try to gather up now don't. Be around you because their situation is fucked up. All right? Because this is a passionate new beginning. For the same person that you was trying to hold back. 
All right. So spirit, what about this um, king of cups? The enemy was trying to hold them back with all the responsibilities. All right. It was his strength to keep his cool. It was his strength to make his mind, his spirituality, his sanctuary. This was a mental battle. This was a mental war. This person was, God was testing his mind and how strong he was in a mind to believe and have faith. All right. That all of this was strength. Look. The times are changing. All right. This is a queen of pentacles. So remember that king of pentacles. All right. Now you manifest it in a physical because now there's a new change. But, you know, I'm not even going to get against that. Give me more about this queen of pentacles spirit. Look, moving forward in a physical this is Archangel Michael. You got balance now. Masculine and feminine energy. All right. And somebody trying to attack you. All right. Because of y'all. Come on. It's because of y'all new start. Here in this material world. Y'all won the battle in the spiritual already. All right. The king of swords. Somebody is is really really in a in a stuck between a hard and a rock place, uh, whatever however you call that. Because look, the Queen of Wands again. She kept trying to get people. She kept trying to influence people. She kept trying to gain her spirit. Oh my God. I just heard these are her spirit guides. You know the Hermit is like spirit, right? These are her spirit guides. Her spirit guides did not even work on her. That's why she's so fucked up. Her spirit guides even rejected her. Her spirit guides rejected her. This is the spirit guides. Wow. Look. That's the spirit guides saying no. Look to the plans. This person trying to come up. They, did, they, they spent a lot of money and time investing on this plan of this. All right. To try to control your thinking. <laughs> to try to control your wand. All right, spirit. What's going on with this queen of cups? What's the last message for her? Conversations. Wow. You turned down. All right. You turned down offers. All right. You blocking somebody. Spirit, what is this Knight of Pentacles? Somebody keep trying to come con contact you with some type of information. All right, somebody keep trying to trying to come and tell you something that is not true. And when I tell you they are consistent at this, somebody is trying to call you and bring to you some trying to some false documents and false information. It's lies. All right, the love is caught in reverse. So they trying to say, for some of you guys, they're trying to say that this, all right, is happening to your lover and it's not. All right, they're trying to come to you and say like something happened with your lover and how they got money and shit. They are lying. <laughs> That's why you don't want to listen to it. They lying. It's a lot collective. Don't believe these people. All right, he's a man of his word. All right, Spirit, what is this love is in reverse? Oh, my gosh. The oh, my gosh. These fucking girls. The Queen of Swords was holding on to dead life so that way they could be good in life. So they were calling you. They were the one calling you. And telling you a lot of lies, all right, about somebody, all right, in the in a, in a information that they had. They were trying to, trying to tell you, like, what they had was proof. And the proof that they was trying to bring you was a lie. Like, they were calling you and saying, oh, I got proof on this lover. 
Well, I got proof on this level that this person did such and such. And they were lying. They weren't even involved with the lover. They didn't, they weren't even involved with the lover. This queen of swords were behind a lot of drama. You hear me? Are surrounding your love. Child. They were around a lot of drama. Drama, drama. This person, I'm hearing this person was a drama queen. They weren't the queen of swords. They weren't with somebody intellectual. They were somebody intelligent. They were a drama queen. That's what they were smart at. Causing drama. Wow. Anything. So what's going to be the closing out messages for this queen of swords? Blocks. And her ass. Oh my gosh. You know what I just heard? This is the five of pentacles and a five of pentacles. But just in two different decks. I'm hearing because she wanted to be a drama queen and assert herself into a business that she had no business in. She's blocked and her covering is gone and she's in the same bad health as this queen of wands. The cards would talk to you for this, for ears who would listen. This fucking queen of swords engaged in a whole lot of drama that she ain't have no business about. It wasn't none of her business. All right, so she was engaging in drama because she just felt like she wanted to speak up. That's what she do, blabbermouth, right? On things that had nothing to do with her. Bringing you false documents about a lover that she's not even with. <laughs> okay? And because she wanted to get in to drama and mom people's business that had nothing to do with her, she got into the same bad health that that person is in. They both fucked up right now. Spiritually. Damn sure physically. Damn sure mentally. And emotionally. This is really bad for both of them. For real. What's the closing out messages spirit? For everybody. Work. Work. All right, somebody is a chief of this nine of pentacles. Your work shows. All right, somebody was building their work. Somebody was working hard. Somebody was building longevity and minding a business. You hear me? And minding a business. Look, and that's about to change. Everything that you work hard for, love coming in because for a lot of you guys, you didn't have no time for like to dedicate yourself in a full relationship. You was getting your money together. You was making sure you, you learned independence. You was making sure you were solidified in this world, even without a partner. That's what you was doing. And now that God sees that you in your nine of pentacles, eight of pentacles, he sees you rising. He sees you learning. He sees you're capable to withstand and handle yourself in this material world. He sees you not easily tempted, but led from temptation. All right. And because of that, now your love life is changing. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Look, your love life, you, your family, now your work, because of all your hard work, now you're going to be able to enjoy love. Because now you got a big house. Now you got a family. Now you got just the things that you need to feel wealthy. But you had to do it in spirit first. You had to love yourself first. All right. This is a new house. This is that same nine of cups. This is a strong ass foundation going through all of this collectives. All right. The enemy has been caught. All right. It's the same king of swords that keep this person was very smart and strategic about their plan. Very powerful in the mind. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. I love you and I hope this helps.